Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Mama Two Boys. Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, I've had this Wet n Wild Fergie makeup for, well I've picked up some here and there the last couple of weeks or whatever. And I figured I needed to go ahead and get it on here before it gets old, right? And make a video. Well, not get old, but like, you know, everybody be like, oh, we already got that, blah, 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 nothing new. So I thought I would share with you what I found. I um, already dumped it out of the bag and just put it in this basket so I can just reach in the basket and get um, what I need. But first off, there's a few things I got that, a piece of fuzz floating, um, that is not makeup related that I just thought was cute and I couldn't pass up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show that. Um, and it's all mason jar related so and they're from the Dollar Tree so the first thing I picked up was this um, it's from Crown Jewels the kitchen collection magnetic notepad and thought that was really cute it's got the mason jars on it and the magnet in the back of course so I grabbed that and here's another mason jar one and it's, it's these are all from Crown Jewels collection and it's um another magnetic notepad thought it was really cute the mason jar that and then um some recipe cards and it's got the little same pattern as the other one really cute and then this one is like um the purse pad like a little notepad to put in your purse and looks like that really super cute that flips open so, y'all forgive my nails. Uh, I've I got them taken off and haven't done them in a while. Oh, and then I did pick these up, and I don't think I ever hauled them, but um, this is like um, the third one I've purchased. I have got one for my son's truck because we were driving it for a bit because I was taking him to driving school, and he needed some air freshener so I thought I'd try it his truck and it's the absolute zero scent and it smells really good and his friend actually liked it and so the last time I was there I picked up a spare and then I picked one up for his friend as well and then this one haven't tried this one yet and I I like my truck to smell like leather I have like leather sitting there so I got these for like the boys or whatever so anyways now on to oh one more thing this is another mason jar. This is not from Crown Jewels, but it's a kitchen equivalent magnet. And, you know, we're all the time like, well, how many? You no, know, you got your kitchen equivalents and your standard conversions over here. And I thought that would be really um, good to have. Stick on the side of the fridge and, you know, look to this if I ever need it. So, and it's a mason jar. So, anyway, now on to the good stuff. The first thing I'm going to go show you guys is this the uh to reflect shimmer palette it's like it's a highlighter is what it is and i'm going to show you this i've already you know opened it up but i stuck it back in the package and um reason being see these don't come normally in these packages like this you just buy them like this because see i have one before these came out at um dollar tree i had picked up one of these and this is what it looks like now they changed the packaging that's why these are at dollar tree because they changed the packaging just slightly they took fergie's name off of it and that's why her collection is um is going to dollar tree i guess she doesn't want to be a part of the brand anymore i don't know not sure don't know the story but this is the one that I have that I've been using, and I do think that I hauled this, and um, I actually took the name off that, but that's what this one looks like that I have now. I oh, don't know. I'm actually wearing it now, like, you know, up in here. And, um, but anyway, I just want to show you that comparison of what the packaging looks like. Um, like, see, this one says Fergie on it. Oh, this one is Hollywood Boulevard is the name of this one. They put the names like right there. And then this one's a pretty color as well. More of a gold. It's got more gold to it. So, got that. Set that over there. But anyways, 
I have a thing about buying things at two, especially at Dollar Tree. If it's really a good deal, I mean, get two for way less than the price of what you would pay for one. Because I believe I paid like four or five dollars for this. And it's just a packaging change. It's the same product. So, um, really good deal if you find the Wet n Wild um, Fergie collection. So, but anyways, I got two of the, the highlights, the one I just showed you. I got two of the mascaras, and I've already tried this. And to me, this is, it's the uh, Turn Up the Volume Full Blast Mascara. And it's, again, the Fergie collection. It's in the gold tube. And this was very dry. I like a, I'll use like a wet, um, I use a bunch of different mascaras, but uh, this was just dry to me. It was just very uh, dry. That's what the wand looks like. But the packaging is really cute. And I did get two of these and um, maybe I'll grow to like it. I could just, um, it's just a volume boosting mascara. Like I said, I, I use several different ones. Um, I don't use just one in particular. So I got that. Um, and like I said, I got two of them. This one hasn't been opened. Um, let me get these. As far as polishes, I think I got three of the, um, my hair is driving me crazy, three of the nail colors duos. My hair is on it. But I got this one, the um, rose kind of colored, and then a gold kind of like uh, shimmer. I'm sure there's names, but they're on the back of the bottle and then I got this teal with this black and gold uh, glitter in it so I just they had more I just picked out the ones that I would wear again my hair is all over it um this one's a purple with the stars like confetti really pretty okay and this, I've tried this as well. I don't think I got two. We'll get to it in a minute. But this is the Wet n Wild Celebrity Concealer. And I did try this. And I like it. Um, upon first opening it, you need to shake it up. Um, I didn't shake it up at first. And um, it just come out real milky looking. But that's what it looks like. And... It's a beige, medium beige is what I got. And you can't tell when you're buying the, you know, it's not written on the package, but this is medium beige. So I'm glad I got medium beige and not um, fair. Which fair, I mean, I could have, I could have worked with fair too, but um, I think I just got one of those. So yeah, I got one of those and then I grabbed one of the um, shimmer take on the day eyeshadow primer I have not used that yet so I normally use my concealers as like a, a eyeshadow primer if you will so I have used this tried it um, this is the long wearing eye pencil on edge and it is black so and I'm reading back here not tested on animals which I already knew that wet and wild does not test on animals it's cruelty free so in case you guys didn't know that You've never um, tried Wet n Wild. They are cruelty-free companies. So, um, but yes, this is in. I'm sorry, this isn't in black. This is in um, brown. So, got that. The eyeshadow palettes again. I got two of the same, and um, I did try this um, right here, and I got it in um, bullet bulletproof glad is the color I picked out for, um, I don't really like those applicators that come with it, but those are the colors there. It's pretty nice eyeshadows. Um, you got two mattes, a cream, and two shimmer, pal uh, shimmer shadows, so pretty good. And I got this stuff all over me. Let's see, what else do we have? I got a few more. The rest is um, lip products. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a, uh, again, y'all, the hair in the way. This is the wet, the on-edge pencil, and this is in white. 
because sometimes you like to do white on your waterline just kind of give your eyes a pop and so for a buck I went ahead and got a white one and then the rest is lip products and I got two of the perfect pout lip colors and I picked more of the neutral colors I'm just showing you because I haven't taken them out of the package yet I got those two and uh, can't tell you how they do because I ain't tried them yet. And then I got two of the um, velvet matte lip colors. And I got, like, again, more of neutral, lighter tones. I didn't go bold and purple and, like, all that kind of stuff. So I can't wait to try those. And then I grabbed one lip gloss. Well, they're calling it a high shine lip stain. And I'm kind of, I will, let me go ahead and take this one out because I was curious. See how it's double wrapped? It's like, um, come on now. Sometimes it's good to not have nails on and then other times I need my nails like to break into stuff like this. And they just, you know, they rewrap everything to put it in the Dollar Tree, to put it in their packaging. But this is how you would typically buy it um, in the store you know, like Walmart, or, you know, any drugstore or whatever. You know what? I can't do anything with any nail, no nails. And a lot of times when I got nails, it's like I can't do it because I have nails. So, and then I got a bobo, and that's not helping. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this on the spot here. I didn't want you to get into this. All right. This is in, oh, I can't see, Steel Street Queen is a Street Queen, is what this is in. So, just for, let me see. Anyway, it's a stain. I hear my buzzer going off. Somebody's here. I don't know. I have to be careful. I don't like working with too dark of too dark of products. So, but anyway, so that was my little haul, my woman makeup haul, my makeup stash for the Fergie Wet n Wild. That's what I've found so far. And those of you that haven't found it yet, be patient because sometimes it takes a while to get to other distributed to other Dollar Trees around, or, you know, around. So, um, anyways. Just thought I'd share and hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I gotta go see who's here because my buzzer's buzzing outside. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you later. Until next time, bye.